They have changed um, the format of live videos, so it took me a second to see if I was recording. Um, give me one second to share this video. I have a lot to cover today. So we're still coming out of the tail end um, of a storm right now. Don't mind my dog, um, he's sparking over the mail, he'll calm down. Um, we're coming out of the tail end of a space storm right now, so we're having a lot of like solar flare activity, lunar energy still, and all different types of energy really hitting the planet. Um, so for me, that looks like I've been working like overtime during this storm and working a lot, um, and using the energy to manifest the things that I want to see into my life. Um, real quick, before I get started on the news, um, I just woke up to a debate in the New Earth group um, about Flat Earth. And I wanted to kind of go there for a minute um, because I'm here to smash duality. Um, I know that's a very dualist, dualistic way of thinking. Pick one, round or flat, right? Very dualistic. It's one or the other. It has to be round or flat. And uh, I don't subscribe to either um, personally. And I don't want anyone to have to align with what I believe because I'm not like one of those vegans or flat earthers that feel they have to push their beliefs on everyone. Um, I like, uh, in my own world, I like to, um, to let everyone choose what they want to believe. So um, in my world, we live in a fractal, um, a fractal holographic projection, and it's made of binary codes. Um, I like to think of it like a sophisticated Sims game, like a video game, um, like virtual reality, that nothing is actually solid. And things are only solid because our brains perceive it like that way. It's more like frequencies, waves, vibrations, things like that. Um, but the problem with either theory is that this is what we're trying to unlimit ourselves from. Um, the problem with it is that this is supposed to be like the same as the dream realm. So theoretically, I could go to sleep tonight and I could have a dream where Earth is round. Tomorrow night I can go to sleep and have a dream where Earth is flat, right? And in both probabilities, they would be quite real. So the problem is, is when we're picking one of these dualistic views, it's either one is just going to limit what we can do here. Um, we're supposed to be learning how to create things the same as we would in the dream world. So in the dream realm, I could literally just instant manifest an object into my hand quite easily. That's where we're headed um, in this realm. So we have to really unlimit our thinking. And um, the problem with either theory is that literally um, Earth is infinite. <laughs> Infinite. It's full of infinite possibilities. Earth is a lot bigger um, than everyone's been led to believe. It's not actually this small globe. It's actually a plane of infinite possibilities, just like the dream realm. Um, so whatever you can create, it's always going to be here. Um, so the problem is, is that we've been indoctrinated and enslaved with our minds and our thinking, and we don't think this stuff is possible. Um, but humans are meant to levitate objects, are meant to do crazy things, whatever. Um, so we're kind of gearing up for that, but we have to get rid of du duality. And then another thing, we can't go around attacking people that don't align with our beliefs. I don't care. Um, we have a lot of religions in that group. We have flat earthers, round earthers, people of all different beliefs. And you have to start to respect that um, each person is you a different life. We share a consciousness but literally people have had different experiences, different um, things they've seen with their own eyes, different experiences that shaped these beliefs they have. Um, so don't be like the Christians who go around trying to convert everyone. Start to respect people. I also saw another nasty vegan post this morning um, that two of, two of the people from our soul group, one like made a post about the other one. I'm going to tell you, if you think that you're spiritual, going around and attacking people because they don't eat what the food you eat, believe what you believe, whatever it is, um, go back to the basics. Like seriously, um, I understand that we're mind, body, soul complexes and it's very important the food we eat, but um, let me tell you something more important, your soul, it's your spiritual aspects. So um, it's never going to be okay to attack anyone. You're actually attacking God. It's not the person you're attacking. You're attacking God at the same time. Um, you're also doing negative things with your energy. So before everyone starts posting things that divide people, because we already know if I posted flat earth, round earth, everyone will start fighting and whatever. If I start 
posting about meat or veganism or whatever. So it's the same kind of things. Maybe um, we need to be careful about what we're posting because our goal is not to keep dividing our soul family, it's to unite. And if we keep dividing, 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 that is the agenda and we can't do anything and it just destroys our whole mission. So we need to focus on uniting. Um, we all have a lot in common. Um, I have seen with my own eyes that we share a consciousness and that there is a veil up and the veil is ego and it's hard to access this one consciousness. Um, we're not able to access everything from this realm. That's what makes it exciting here. Um, but we have a lot more in common than you guys have been led to believe. Um, and when you're fighting with someone, that's just a projection of yourself. You're fighting with yourself. Your body has mirror neurons in your brain. It doesn't perceive it any differently. So I know people get an ego boost out of feeling good, um, belittling people, whatever it might be. But your body can't perceive it any differently than you're doing it to yourself. So now is time where we love all aspects of ourselves. We don't have to get along. Um, you don't have to vibe with everyone. But if you don't vibe with people um, and it's on Facebook, maybe clean up your friend list. Block people, whatever. But be careful dividing over beliefs because um, the universe is a lot bigger and crazier than most people can even really grasp. Um, Sparks likes to say it like this. The universe is this big. And I'm lucky if I know this much. <laughs> so um, be careful. Um, that's ego. That's not your soul guiding you. Your soul is never going to tell you to attack your soul family um, in any way, shape, or form. And I know that for me, um, my main intent is to draw my soul group back to me for ascension. I work very hard at putting out the right vibe all the time. And um, when you're arguing over these concepts, how are you finding time to manifest and create? Well, you are actually, you are, but you're creating things that aren't going to play out very good in your own life because um, what you put out energetically is going to come back to you. So if you're arguing with people um, or not getting along with people, you're putting out some type of negative energy and it will come back to you in your own life. Um, so for me, I like to vibe higher than that. I like to put out a love vibe all the time. I like to work on what I'm manifesting. I'm working on consciously creating right now. Um, I'm going to be here real quick before I do the news. I'll be here... Um, for the rest of the week until Thursday afternoon um, for healing work. I would take advantage of it. Check out our website. We teach Reiki. Most notably, um, we're doing chakra openings where we remove all energetic blocks from your light body. Um, and we do a combination of Reiki and Chi healing, um, which doesn't quite have a label. Something, a six dimensional healing system. But check out our site. I'm going to do news now. Um, start to unite. We're strongest together and weakest apart. So don't let these entities keep on dividing people. I have a ton of people that are flat earth on my page. Maybe that's the problem. Now people are mixing with these people. I have tons of people with all different beliefs. Um, the most spiritual experiences that you could hear about. And it's pretty amazing. Um, so I still vibe with everyone despite what you believe. Maybe um, it's time that we step away from having to convert everyone. Having to convince everyone else of our own beliefs. When you stand um, confident with your truth and what you believe in, you will kind of um, you won't feel that need anymore. Because I was like that when I first woke up. I used to argue with people, whatever, until I kind of understood things. Um, but remember, consciousness and awakening kind of comes in layers and waves and different levels. Um, so level up, guys, where you're one with everyone and everything. Feel one with everyone and everything. Don't just say it. Feel it. Become one with the flat earthers. Become one with the Muslims, gays, whatever it is. Because literally people um, are just getting back what they're judging. Yeah, so if you don't like flat earthers, your whole page is about to be flat earth. If you don't like um, Muslims, your whole page, your newsfeed might look like it's all Muslim stuff. Whatever it is you're judging, um, you're going to attract into your life. So how about instead of judging other aspects of yourself, which you have a limited perspective on from your eyes, you don't really understand because you haven't walked a mile in their shoes. Maybe we should adjust our vibration, only put out unconditional love, and realize that everyone's been through a lot at this point. And uh, we need to love ourselves unconditionally. That is what this journey is about, self-love. Okay, we had a very rare, and drop your name if you're going to want a card. I'm going to rush through this very quickly. We had a very rare 5.8 magnitude earthquake that hit Lincoln, Montana, as a lot of you guys know. This was northwest of Helena, Montana. But now they have a gas leak in Helena. Um, in Florida, storms are causing more bacteria in area beaches. 
Uh, Pinellas County, Florida is not doing anything to warn people about what's in the water. This is harmful bacteria. The rain washed bird and dog poop into the water causing bacteria levels to spike. Um, I like this one because it's in Pennsylvania and it's at a lake we like to frequent sometimes. Um, in Pennsylvania, dead fish have washed to the shores of Lake Erie. There are concerns this was a chemical spill from Ford's nearby plant last month. But the Ohio EPA says the chemical was not toxic, but clearly it was to cause a mass animal die-off. Um, people are cashing in on the eclipse coming up. Um, we have eclipse weddings. The post office has eclipse stamps. Tons of marketing everywhere for the August 21st eclipse. Um, new land has appeared off the coast of North Carolina. Now I like this because this is where um, Atlantis was. And uh, I'm waiting for Atlantis to rise again, basically. Um, so they say it's uh, tempting but dangerous. Five people had to be rescued. High tides and strong undercurrents trapped them there. The island was formed by strong currents and storms two months ago. This is off a of Cape Point off Cape Her Herades National um, Seashore. It's been named Shelly Island for the many seashells. Authorities warn visitors to only travel there by boat. Um, things are changing with the earth. We're seeing it everywhere. Um, personally, I believe that we're gearing up for a pull shift and that notably um, there was always a small group of people that could survive this pull shift by keeping your vibration a certain way, um, keeping your vibration a certain uh, at a certain um, height and in sync with the earth. Um, most notably the Mayans did this. Um, an acid leak from Israeli fertilizer plant could do lasting harm. An acid storage pool at the Totem Amhart factory sprang a leak. The acid flowed into the Nahal Ashalam River, poisoning about 12 miles of it. Seepage into groundwater could cause damage for years. An environmental protection ministry ecologist said the stream's pH level was at a 2 or 3. Clean water has a pH level of 7. So um, basically with this lunar energy, we see the same things happen where we have earthquakes, floods. Um, most of the world is flooding or having major, major heat uh, waves right now. So this energy is going to continue to get more intense until like Thursday or Friday. Um, and so we're going to keep seeing stuff like this. But we're seeing a lot of contamination also. Um, get ready for a one world currency by 2018. All right. The petrodollar has been dominant for a while. But the fall of the dollar, uh, if the dollar falls, all the other currencies will fall too. This is a prediction that was made in the Economist magazine, January 9th, 1988, volume 306. It says, get ready for a world currency, and you can plainly see there's a crypto coin in the photo in the article. Um, we have a small window before 2018. There's going to be a big interruption to economic life to usher this in. They said 30 years ago, blacks, whites, Japanese, Europeans, rich, and people in rich and poor countries will be doing their shopping with the same currency. Um, we're kind of seeing things gearing up for that. Um, more and more talk of a new mystery object that's not Planet Nine. There's a mystery body in our solar system is pertur perturbing things in the far reaches of our solar system. There are many theories about uh, Planet X, Nibiru, and other objects that could be coming in, technologies, the asteroid belt, etc. Um, this Planet Nine they tried to bring up at the end of 2016, but they say it's here, but they've yet to see it. They're saying now there's another anomaly that points to another body being out there, closer than Planet Nine. This is having effects in the same way. So there's two separate bodies out there, and they have yet to lay eyes on either, but they know they're wreaking havoc on our planet, basically. Um, we have a hidden tunnel to the underworld found under Mexico's Pyramid of the Moon. Um, this has been a discovery beneath a massive Mexican pyramid. This tunnel is a historical find. It runs from the second largest pyramid in the area, which is the Pyramid of the Moon, and it runs to the center square. They've done scans of this, and there's something there and in it. The next step is to get archaeologists, um, but conveniently, they usually hide everything they find, or it's lost or not found public. But this is a tunnel 33 um, feet below the surface, and the thing is is that they really think that there might be tunnels connecting all of the ancient um, structures that were built on ley lines, like literally all of them, connecting them. But conveniently, um, kind of like the Smithsonian that hides everything, <laughs> and the Vatican that's hiding everything, conveniently, it's never really made public, the stuff that they're finding. Um, I'm going to draw some cards now. Sorry, I was trying to rush through that.
I'm gonna draw some cards now. Um, all I can do is really tell you guys to stay high vibe, um, cut your cords, stay high vibe, work on manifesting what you want. Don't think about what you don't want. Think about the things you do want because this is really amping up our manifesting on a crazy level. I could tell um, because I was pretty much instant manifesting all day yesterday. All right, TJ York, emotional loss. Um, work on your heart chakra today. This is like the chakra of the day too. Um, you have to remember that we vibrate the same as the planet most of the time and the planet's kind of going through it right now it's going through an energy purge etc so just work on healing your heart chakra the best way you can do that is get out into nature literally if you want to vibrate the same as the planet go uh, match earth's frequencies outside Trisha Louise could we astral we can astral anywhere that we want to go um, also on my website in the video section I have really good videos on how to astral project and stuff um, because I tune in through the dream realm. Um, that's one of the ways that I tune in. I'm a dream walker. And I really get a lot of information um, from astral travel, um, out-of-body experiences, near-death experiences I had, um, and the dream realm. I really try to tune in um, through these things. So you can astral travel anywhere you want. Positive movement forward. Go tell me what it is. I think it's Nibiru's solar system, personally. Um... And you really can't, this is one thing I will give the flat earthers, NASA is a complete fake hoax. Like you can't trust anything that comes from them. So it's hard to tell. It's positive movement forward. Um, we have more control over our futures than we've been led to believe that we literally can create and manifest anything that we want. It's time to get creative now. It's time to get back to our spiritual gifts, our birth gifts, etc. Things that we're, we've been gifted with. Um, I really want to go back to like, um, like a Native American medicine wheel type of life where we could exchange based on our spiritual gifts and skills, much like that. Um, so literally just stay really positive, work on manifesting, stay grounded. Amanda Horsting. Well, I'm gonna give you two. Triumphant and don't make any big decisions. Um, you're gonna be very successful in anything that you're trying to do or anything that you decide to do right now. My advice to you is don't listen to other people's opinions around you at all. Uh, kinda just in and out of your head. Don't let it influence your consciousness right now and your decisions and what you're thinking about doing. Um, because everyone has their input and their advice and what they would do, etc. Um, but your own intuition is leading you um, don't make any huge decisions. Just really think about what you're doing right now. Think about what you want to see in your life. Think about what you want to create. Um, for me, like, I really want to, um, we really want to pay off this house and get, like, a camper and go travel and, like, heal our soul family and stuff. And that might seem, uh, not feasible right now, but I'm still going to keep thinking about it and dreaming about it. And I know that it will happen one day. So, um, keep thinking. Don't let money ever, um, influence what you're trying to manifest at all. Um, because I know we're sucked into this magic money system, but it's not real. That is the illusion. So really just think about what you want, what you want to create with your future right now. Julie Quezon, how are you going to survive things? You're almost done. Um, in a few days, the energy will shift lighter for the weekend and everyone will feel a lot better. Um, the good news is people are already starting to sleep better last night. So you'll sleep a little bit better tonight, a little bit better tomorrow night. It's just the way the moon cycles go. And um, this is very predictable energy that every month we really have a full moon and go into the same types of energy. So I will kind of get familiar with it um, because since I'm really energy sensitive, I can then rest up and be prepared for this kind of stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of people ungrounded all over the place, sick, you know, crazy stuff going on. And it's like, you guys just need to ground a little. <laughs> like, it's just a full moon. It will pass. It's just going to pass in a couple of days. So stay grounded. Work on your spiritual strength. Um, those that are, that are working on the spiritual path and staying grounded are going to have an easier time with this energy. Every moon storm we go through, I'm a little bit calmer, a little bit calmer. So keep working at your spiritual strength. Um, we have to really, um, we have to realize we're mind, body, soul complexes, and we really had to um, build up our physical body, our soul, and then work on um, the mental aspects. Susan Clemens, um, I don't do trolls or troll kind of comments. I'm not putting out fear. I'm spreading higher awareness in my perspective. So you're happy to tune out. 
Sahib Taylor. Recognition and reward. This is the universe saying you're doing a really good job. And that's why I also am careful that I'm only intending to attract the same type of energy. My videos are getting um, more and more kind of um, scrutiny for what I'm doing. And I know it's because I'm making a very big ripple effect in consciousness. I'm using um, my abilities and my gifts so that I can positively um, help influence con the consciousness in a productive, positive way. And I'm seeing it work. I'm seeing people transform their lives, change themselves for the better, eating better foods, whatever it is, raising their vibrational frequencies. And just understand um, that in the third dimension, while people are separate, they're in this light, dark illusion still. Um, so I know a lot of people can't understand where I'm coming from in the higher dimensions, but I'm going to tell you something. You let go of fear. So if you're seeing fear in me, it's not me putting it out. That's your own fear you're seeing. Um, because most everyone around me, I would say 99% are seeing love that I'm projecting. I'm a healer. I do these feeds literally so that I can take on any negative energy and transmit it. I'm an alchemist. That's what I do. Um, so I'm doing a service to you. If you can't recognize that, um, you don't have to be here. But back to Sahib. Um, this is the universe telling you you're doing a really, really good job. Um, literally, like an amazing job. It's amazing to be growing with all you guys and watching us all blossom together. And I know that any meditation, inner work I'm doing is helping change the whole of consciousness because we only have one consciousness. So if I'm influencing my own consciousness, I'm influencing all of you guys and vice versa. So um, we are the original fractals. And when we change ourselves, it changes the entire universe like a kaleidoscope. So keep doing the work. Um, don't let people put your light out because I know they're trying, but um, it's just it's just the school. You have to understand that it's kind of like an obstacle course, and it's just kind of gearing us up for our missions and helping us become stronger. Um, so try to get rid of this duality, light and dark, fear and whatever. I don't like two choices because the universe is a little more complex than pick one or the other. Let's see. Michelle Marie. Yes, let's calm down, ground. Um, I'm sending you guys amazing uh, healing energy. We're going to work on grounding today. Um, the moon's making people come unraveled, so I take it with a grain of salt, like, oh, whatever. People are going crazy again, the moon, right? I see the crazy traffic in the matrix, people coming unhinged, fighting with each other, attacking each other. Okay, I get it. Um, if you're feeling like that, maybe you just have a little more inner work and healing to do. So I see people are suffering in silence, but um, of all people, you know that's not true. We're deeply connected um, by a unifying energy field, and we are all one. So draw on your soul group. Um, if you're feeling alone, just know you're not, that we're kind of coming more and more focused with our soul group. Rely on that. Become, um, become better friends with the people around you. Something to spark you. I'm sending you a spark. Stephanie Mays, discontent and boredom. Um, I hope no one feels like that right now. Um, I'm always overwhelmed. I'm surprised I haven't sank yet. I'm always just kind of floating. Um, but I'm doing the best I can with every situation. But there's so much to do right now. There's so much endless work that can be done. Um, inner work, work on the whole, whatever you are feel um, guided to do. Um, we're all needed. This won't work. If just me and a few people um, are trying to influence consciousness, it takes all of us together. Because the problem was that we all created this together. That we all were living unconsciously. And consciousness as you know it, the world as you know it, is a projection of everything that we have created up until this point. And the problem was we were asleep most of our lives. So we were creating unconsciously. And we kind of made a mess of the world. I don't really like everything I see. Hey, um, I don't know if you guys love it here. There's things that we could be doing a little better. So in order to do that, we're going to put the focus back on ourselves and it will change the whole of what we're seeing. That's how this all works out. Um, but there's so much work to do. You have so much inner work to do. Brittany Duncan, good morning. You're being tested. Um, we all are right now. We're all leveling up during this energy storm. So we all have a lot on our plates right now. Like I'm just like, whew, I feel kind of... Whew. So I'm trying to step back, ground, um, be aware, keep your eyes open. I always tell you a test could look like a homeless person that needs your money. Maybe um, someone will come to you for help, assistance. It could be a friend needing advice. 
whatever it is. Um, some of these tests are uh, that vegan person snapping out at you or that a flat earth or yelling at you. Um, or people not getting along with you. These can be the tests. Um, they come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms. So just keep your eyes out. You're leveling up really fast, everyone here. April Hansen. Um, prosperity begins, literally. Um, we have to take control. We have to change our vibration from that system of lack where we never have anything and we have to retune our frequencies to love and abundance that's what i'm working on just putting out the vibe that i just want love and abundance back to me and as long as i always put that out that's what comes back to me um so work on true prosperity clara byler i try to hide out during the moon energies too um i won't be live tomorrow but i'll be live thursday so i'm kind of erratic this week too um, with my schedule just because um, the energy is kind of overwhelming and I'm trying to use it for my benefit. So Claire, Clara, you're working on your crown chakra. Um, this is your connection to source, literally. Um, the chakras are so vital where um, when I woke up, I started studying. I already had um, a degree in um, alternative medicine, but I started studying um, more like energetic health, chi, reiki, things like that, um, that led me here. So I've realized how important these energy vortexes are that any kind of illness or sickness is just going to be from a block chakra. And I realize how mind blowing that is because we've been taught um, so much, so much useless stuff when it comes to our bodies and how they work. Um, you would really benefit from a chakra opening at some point. You should probably check out our website. Terra stars. Truth. Um, truth is a key that you need to higher dimensions. I see a lot of people are putting their truth out there. Um, it could be all different radical beliefs. That's their truth. I respect that, right? But people are forgetting that you also need a second key, and that key is love. And, and it's not just any love. It's divine love. Um, so that's a little bit harder to attain. I know we're used to that conditional control drama type of love. But divine love is that second key you need. Best stock hurt. Awareness. Um, it is my intent to draw people to me that have their third eyes open or are or they have them almost open. I really want to draw um, the awakened light workers to me, um, mostly people with already open chakras, things of that nature. I'm really careful about who I'm trying to draw to me, let's just say that. Getting more and more careful. Um, so work on that higher state of awareness. Keep working on your third eye. I always say that like coconut oil and avocados are really good for your third eye. So is um, chlorella or spirulina. Um, also cilantro takes metals out of your body and is really good for your third eye. Jenny Montaline Bird. The energy is intense and strange. It's intense and strange everywhere. Um, you know how it is. Work on your root chakra today. Yes, work on grounding. This is really the card of the day for everyone. Let's work on our root chakras, staying balanced and staying grounded um, because everyone else is coming ungrounded and it's affecting the whole. Um, I know you could be really high vibe and say it's not affecting me, but it is. We only have one consciousness, so it's kind of weighing down consciousness with a little bit of a heavy energy. My advice, unplug, meditate, spend time alone because if you're around everyone or on Facebook, that's going to be influencing your thoughts and you're manifesting right now so work on manifesting right now um just keep putting the vibe out there for what you want dolores frank i love your vibe too i just vibe with certain people nothing to do with beliefs um i'm not the type like i don't really watch people will share a million videos with me and i don't watch any of them um i don't like to clutter up my mind um, and whatever and it's cool like you guys can believe whatever you want But I want to be around the people in my soul group that I just vibe with despite what you guys believe what religion you are What faith everyone is I just want to vibe with my soul group basically and it's happening all around me I'm watching one soul group come together united and it's pretty amazing. So I love your vibe work on your sacral today um, literally you can literally um, put orange crystals in your bath. That's the best suggestion um, get outside. This is about sexuality and power and um, harness chi energy. Work on your chi energy. Um, Sparks put up that really good meditation um, we did Sunday. It's on this page somewhere, but I also put all of our videos on YouTube on our Sparks of Divine Light Healing channel, so you can probably find it on there. Go do that chi um, meditation that he showed you. That'll immediately fix and pump up and um, recharge your chi energy. Um, also, we're really busy, so it's hard for us to go live together. 
and uh, he's a little bit afraid of the camera, but we're going to go live together um, this weekend or try to like once a weekend. Kelly Jacobs for the Y. Good morning. Rejoice and celebrate. We should be celebrating, guys. We literally have a complete blank slate. Um, I know people will tell you differently and like to help you create your, um, like to create your future for you. But no, you can create it. You have a blank slate. The energy is ideal for manifesting and literally envision what you want. Someone's like, how do you ma manifest? For me, I just daydream about what I want all day long. It's real easy in a meditative type state. Um, but people can make a vision board. You can make a list. You can just think about what you want all the time. It's the law of attraction. We are attracting whatever we are putting out. So if you don't like what you're receiving, um, adjust your vibration. But celebrate. We're doing good. Everyone's right where they should be and doing so good. Um, Dana Sargent, I'm sending you lots of healing. That's what I've been doing. Um, so a lot of people have seen um, that I'm, a, I'm a really... I'm really on all the sick people right now. <laughs> I'm really pretty divinely led to everyone that's sick right now. I've been doing a lot of healing work um, in my free time um, when I'm not doing my healing work for my site. I've been really um, helping the collective on a big level. So a lot of people are sick right now, but look at it like you're healing and you're purifying and just purging toxins out of your body. Drink more water. Anyone who's not feeling good <coughs> or feeling ascension symptoms, drink more water. It's the best thing you can do right now for this energy. Um, don't make any big decisions. These are like infinite doors. This is how the universe really works. Infinite probabilities in front of you. Um, the future is more like probabilities, not one set door, one set, you know, probability. There's a million. Um, so literally don't make any big decisions. Make conscious decisions and plan things out right now. Just focus on healing. Amber Bellano, work on balance. This is for everyone too. Work on balance right now. Um, we cannot be ungrounded or it's going to kind of just keep throwing things to a tilt right now. Um, just work on grounding, staying balanced. For me, that looks like I go to bed at the same time every night. You guys probably know I'm on a pretty regular schedule. I go to sleep at like nine. I come back first thing in the morning, etc. Um, so I'm on a pretty good schedule. Um, I'm also very careful about what I put in my body, what I eat. Um, and things like that. I try to avoid toxins, just trying to keep my energy pure and clean. Work on more balance. Good. I see Amanda Horsen fell her heart chakra expand. I take on, I take on these blocks. I take them into my body physically. Like when we do your chakra opening, I absorb any of your energetic blocks or block chakras and then dissipate them out of my body. So that's why I do these live feeds. It isn't because I like them or they're fun to do um, because it's really pushing me outside of my comfort zone. I do them to kind of take on these blocks and lower energies and to give you guys back some fresh, good energy. That's why I do them um, first thing in the morning when I'm charged up. So I'm hoping that you guys all leave here feeling really good and amazing. Um, just um, when you have two people and they're at a certain vibration, usually people will stay in the same range. Like it's kind of like a roller coaster, right? But you're going to stay in the same vibrational range, even though you're going to have, you know, your good days and your bad days, right? And um, if you have two people, maybe you have like a low vibe person and someone real high vibe, you have two options. Um, the high vibe person can go down to the low vibe level, which is easier because negativity is really easy. To always be negative all the time is actually easy. It takes more to be high vibe. Um, or the high vibe person can bring the negative person up, right? Um, so I'm hoping that maybe um, as I'm expanding my consciousness level, I'm kind of taking you guys up with me and uh, bringing you up to my level, which is kind of amazing. Kimberly Renee, transformation. Um, this is what we're all going through. I always joke around. I went to a conservatory and I saw these butterflies. And when they have their wings, I guess, they stay on the glass and flap for a little while before they'll go out and fly. Um, I guess they're testing out their wings. That's where I'm at. Um, I have my wings, but I'm a little scared to jump. Um, just jump. The universe is about to catch us all in a big way. Um, just kind of go with the flow. You're being divinely guided. Brandy Hulky, yes, I would love to go back to um, Native Ways personally. <laughs> um, material Harvest. Um, literally just work on um, the spiritual still stay really high vibe right now and think about what you want now remember when we're manifesting you can only manifest on a love vibe that's like a default because people would be manifesting out of hate all of the time so it's a way to protect us um, so if you're manifesting something out of hate it's not going to work 
So if you manifest anything out of love, it will work. So work on um, having a love vibe and just thinking about what you want right now. Um, that's what this energy is for. Sandra Jackson. Moving on. We are moving on um, from anyone and anything not serving us. Now, the challenge is that we start out with toxic people in our lives. All of our parents were pretty toxic for us. Um, and how I know this is because you were all your parents in a past life. And that's how karma works. And that's how you ended up where you are now. So now that you're karmically clear, um, you can choose who you want to have in your life. And my advice is just to get rid of toxic people. Get rid of people that make you feel bad or think negative. Um, because it's not good for any of you guys to be around each other if you're thinking negative thoughts about each other. Um, try to stay around people that are bringing your vibration up, making you feel good, helping heal you, not harm you, helping heal you, and bringing out the best in you. Um, that's what I want around me. I don't want negative, toxic people bringing down my vibe. I want to be able to heal and help people and vibe with my friends and whatever. Um, so in order to do that, I can't have toxic people in my life. I have to protect my energy because you know that takers don't set boundaries. <laughs> They'll just keep taking and taking and taking and draining you. And a lot of times um, people drain you just by complaining about their lives, refusing to change. Um, you know, you'll give them a million ideas of what they can do. They don't care. They'll complain about their health problems, but they won't research it, whatever it might be. Um, so just get rid of people um, that are not trying to ascend, not being spiritual, that bring you down, or might make you feel bad. Um, do a good inventory of your life um, because the universe is going to help you do it either way. So it's a little bit easier if we do it on our own. I'm skipping around because my comments just are going crazy because of my energy. Um, Nikki Fox, the waiting gram. Um, don't be waiting for anyone to create your future for you. That's for sure. We have to take control of our own lives. Um, we have to realize that we were responsible with our mind for creating everything we didn't like before. And now we can take control of our mind and create what we do like. So don't be waiting um, on your twin flame or Prince Charming or, uh, you know, Jesus to come save you. Take control of your life right now. Um, but stay high vibe. Use this energy for manifesting what you want. Make a list of what you want. Sometimes we're not clear enough. We have a million thoughts running through our head every day. So sometimes the universe um, isn't, we're not being clear enough of what we want too. So maybe make a list. Edward James, memories of love. Let go of nostalgia, literally. Um, I know we have these uh, memories surfacing like from our childhood where we feel bad about this or bad about that. Um, forgive everyone involved and that's just yourself. You don't have to go say sorry to people. You can literally just forgive yourself and it will heal any of those timelines. Um, so work on forgiveness, letting go of nostalgia. Um, we did the best job that we could here, and believe it or not, you're right where you should be, and things went exactly as planned. So we're much too hard on ourselves at this point. Um, we had to work on more self-love. Casey Knight, you're driving, but you're listening. Amazing. Um, I really, the people that really tune in regularly, I see them doing amazing energetically, like much more than the norm. Um, so this is really good for you energetically to tune in when I do this. Um, we are having a battle. Um, someone was telling me about hell today. And heaven and hell are states of consciousness, just like soul and ego. Um, you know, if you're following your ego, you might create a hell on earth. If you're following your soul, you can create a heaven on earth. Um, I know when I was following my ego that I've been to places on earth that could be considered hell on earth. But they're states of consciousness. Um, and that was just me battling my own darkness. And hopefully you'll transcend out of that, follow your soul, and start to create a sort of heaven on earth in the same place. Um, so there's many dimensions here, and they're all layered on each other like an onion, but they're all in the same place. Right now, I'm trying to access only the higher ones. Um, and I like to keep my energy a certain way so that I can access the higher ones. Work on following your soul. That's more of an intuition or a knowing. Your ego is going to be more like in your head, um, convincing you, you know, to do things that will end you up ultimately alone and miserable. Your intuition is your soul guiding you and it's never let you down. Edwin Canas. Well, this negativity um, is sometimes needed as a catalyst. Unfortunately, um, the universe is only giving you what you need. Um, Work on your vibe. You have to master self-love because you're about to um, enter a spiritual union if you're not already in one. Um, that is the goal um, of everyone around me. 
that literally we are going to see more and more soulmate and twin flame unions and uh, unions that are spiritual. So work on more self-love because when you love yourself completely, that's how you draw your twin flame back to you, literally. Um, I had to literally love myself completely. All the bad experiences too, all the good ones. You have to realize that you're not your experiences, you're not your thoughts. Um, you're not even your actions or your choices that you're so much more infinite than that You're an infinite source of energy. That's always learning and always expanding um, Love yourself completely love every experience you've had and you'll draw that spiritual twin flame to you um, I'm gonna let you guys go on that note because I'm feeling intense energies um, But I will be back live Thursday and um, I'm here for any healing work if you guys need me um, And I'll probably be back to check my messages in a couple of days etc. So um, I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a really good day. Stay high vibe. Work on manifesting. Drink more liquids. Love and light.